Hello everybody. I wanted to do a video that I haven't done in a really long time and I wanted to do a little FaceTime session. Get ready with me where I am just get ready, get ready. I'm just getting ready for the day. Nothing's really going on today. I'm just going into the office. I did want to film my everyday makeup. So right now I have no makeup on. And honestly, if I wasn't filming this video, I probably wouldn't put makeup on today just because my skin is really clear and I don't necessarily think I need it today. But I wanted to film this video and so I'm gonna show you my everyday little daily makeup that's really easy and we're gonna catch up on life. I have been doing so many more of these videos where I'm just like chatting on camera, being way more open. I have my solo podcast episodes, I'm like, becoming more of an open book and i kind of love it so if you guys like it let me know but in like the previous vlog i just did like a way more chatty vlog and i got a really positive response so i want to do more of these and it just really excites me i feel like i have to burp though like i i have it like right here you know when it's like sitting on your chest and you're like mm, it's not coming out yet i just had a really big breakfast <laughs> I also wanted to thank today's sponsor for the video, which is Taylor Brands. I'm so excited because I've been working with them for a few months now, and I think that they are actual geniuses. If you have been following me, you probably are entrepreneurial or you're interested in it, or you know, you at least know that I have a business and that's a really big part of my life and dare I say personality. Taylor Brands is literally the go-to solution if you are an entrepreneur and you are starting a business please i urge you do not do it alone use taylor brands because they help you so much it does not matter what business you are trying to start navigating starting a business and the llc formation can be so overwhelming but taylor brands offers the comprehensive suite of solutions from streamlining llc setup to even creating personalized roadmaps they have you covered they have literally thought of everything taylor brands simplifies the journey to entrepreneurship so they handle all of the licenses permits attorney vetted business documents they can design a logo for you build a professional website they make sure that every single aspect of your business has a solution they even offer trademark registration they help you set up a business bank account they can provide you with a finance manager and they have 24 hour live support like i said taylor brands just simplifies the path to entrepreneurship and i'm not gonna lie i really wish that i had taylor brands when i was starting either rella or my llc for content creation and so don't make the mistake i did do not try to figure this out on your own and spend so much money trying to do it get taylor brands and they will help you along the way linked down below so make sure to check it out okay i feel like my hair looks bad up like this i really want my videos to feel like you're just like chatting with a friend i hope that that's what it feels like okay i'm gonna start off my makeup with this morphe setting spray i truly have like a sephora below me right now in the sense that like i get so much pr so whenever I'm like running out of something, like I ran out of my primer, I was like, okay, I must have one in here somewhere. And I found this one. And so far, I really like it. I also use tinted moisturizer. I am the OG lover of the Laura Mercier tinted moisturizer. I did actually purchase this, even though I have a lot of stuff from PR under here. This is just one of my favorites. It's lasted me so long. And it's just so reliable. You know, you go back to those reliable products like the beauty blender for example this thing there's so many different like brushes and techniques and staying true to my beauty blender we're gonna kick it off with dating sometimes people are like don't like hearing about it but you know i love hearing about people's dating experiences and i get so many comments and those are like my tiktoks that do well and in my last vlog i had a first date so i went on my date yesterday we went out to dinner and I ended up seeing that same guy again for a second date. This is something I've realized about myself now that I'm older. And it's funny because like, you don't think that you've changed that much. At least I don't. I'm like, okay, yes, I've matured, I've grown, blah, 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 all the cliches. But like, realistically, I'm like, I'm still, you know, the same person. Like, I've just like matured and, and gotten older. But then I look back at like what I used to like and what I like now and i'm like wait no i have changed a lot more than i thought and dating is like helping me realize it and helping me it's gonna sound cliche but kind of like getting to know myself again the last time i was single right before i started dating my ex-boyfriend uh which was over five years ago at this point which is crazy i was 22 yeah i was 22 i was fresh out of college and i 
remember thinking like when I liked someone it was pretty instantaneous like I'm I feel like I'm the same way now if I don't have like an initial spark then I'm not like like chances are it's probably not gonna work out and I know some people in the comments are like no you have to give things another shot and I will I'll give things like a second date if there were no you know like red flags or if I like was just like neutral about them like I didn't not like them I didn't love them you know it was kind of just like there not that I love anyone after the first date but you know what I'm saying so I will give people another shot but I'm telling you I know myself it is pretty instant if I like you or not I'm not saying I'm like head over heels for you right away but if I am like interested in you it is pretty it happens like right away so when I was younger that was still the case but I actually loved when the person would text me all the time like I like really really liked that like I thought that texting like every single day all day equaled interested also I realized I look ridiculous right now <laughs> I do think I probably put too much on but that's what the beauty blender is for I use bronzer for like every part of my makeup I'm like eyeshadow cool contouring awesome like all of that yeah anyways I put way too much on my nose I think Charlotte Tilbury bronzer melts away like it looks like a lot and then you blend it out and you're like oh that was nothing i loved texting maybe it's just like when i'm not interested in someone i don't like it as much but like now i'm like like leave me alone like i don't want to text and i know that sounds so bad but like i really hate texting all day because one every single one of my friends can attest to this i am the world's worst texter I will read something and I will mentally respond. I will like tell myself I'm gonna respond in a minute cause like I'm in the middle of doing something. Like I think I need to have my phone on do not disturb because that way I won't see the text and then I won't be like, oh, I'll respond later. Cause that's my problem is I'll read text messages while I'm like in the middle of doing something and I don't wanna stop what I'm doing. So I'm like, I will respond later. Message is still open. It's, it doesn't get responded to. I forget about it and that is, not good i realized that that like security to me is no longer texting every single day and i also think that that is maturity i also think when i was younger i was just so much like less confident in myself where now like i am so comfortable at being single it's probably like too comfortable at being single now where i'm like Ugh, like i don't want to have to put in effort i don't want to have to go out i don't want to have to you know like do this because like i have so much other stuff going on that i don't want to like add the pressure of like going on a date and like stressing over it i am someone that is like very 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 independent and so i don't view dating anymore as like wow i like need a boyfriend or i like need a partner you know like that's i don't need one and i think it's like too i like don't need one too much like i or i like don't need one at all where it's like starting to become a problem i'm like wait maybe i should maybe i should need one because these got like i just am like protecting my peace too much and so the way that i'm kind of looking at it is like unless you are someone that like i you know hit it off with i really like it's like an addition to my life then i don't need you and i'm not like wasting my time i guess i think i've i've really like cut the bullshit where i'm like okay i just don't want to waste my time so for example going back to this one date that i went on after the first date like it was a good date like i said like there was you know nothing wrong whatever but i didn't necessarily think like oh my god like this is it you know and so i have tried to be a little kinder where I'm like, okay, just because I don't feel that way right away does not mean that it can't grow. So I'm like, and it's like, there were no red flags. Like this guy was perfectly nice. Like, you know, got along, whatever. So I was like, okay, let's go on another date. Like I am very open to it. I want to see what can happen and what can come of it. I want to get to know him more, whatever. But again, it wasn't like, wow, like I am so excited for this person this is like my husband you know maybe that's not healthy to like think that like oh my gosh like i'm so excited for this person after a first date but i have liked guys in the past and like i'm not talking about five years ago like i have liked guys last year like there's i can think of two guys 
last year that genuinely I legitimately liked them I w would have wanted to like see where things go to date them like if things went well and I was really sad when they didn't like me so like I know that that feeling is there and I know that I like get excited about people so that's why I'm like okay if I'm not is that a bad sign? I feel like I want to be done with my makeup before I even tell the story. Putting translucent powder underneath my eyes. So anyways, with this guy, I was willing to, you know, give it a shot. And it was my first date in like five or six months. Um, and so we waited like two weeks before going on another date because my family was in town and I was just really, really busy. So we weren't able to, and we ended up, you know, getting together again. And again, nothing was wrong. There was nothing wrong, but I know myself and I want to be respectful of people's time. And I also want to be respectful of my own time. And so I just, you know, told him like, Hey, you're super nice, but I just don't see this going anywhere because he was like making future plans and i i just know that feeling you know last year i have liked people that they would say things like that like they would make me excited for future plans and they would like they would make me think that they liked me because of the things that they would say or the actions their actions specifically like you know like we would hang out all the time or we would like we would text or we would like again, the future plans thing, I think can really throw people off because it's like, whoa, they're thinking about, you know, a month or two from now, that means that they must really like me. And I've learned with the guys specifically that that doesn't mean anything. <laughs> um, like so many guys will just say that just to say that. I'm not saying all of them do, but I was like, I hate when that gets done to me. So I don't want to do that to someone else. So I just told him that like, hey, I like, like, I think that you're a great person, but I just don't see this going anywhere. And you know, I was even thinking like, what if I'm just like, I'm just not in a position to date. I don't want to date right now. And I was talking to one of my friends and I was like, I really want to be like bold and honest this year and kind of like have, you know, have that be done to me. Because I think when you're like, hey, I'm just like not ready to date, it kind of gives people hope, you know, like I, I and like it gives people like, oh, well, it's just bad timing when like sometimes it's not bad timing. You're just not compatible. And so I was glad that I did that. Obviously, everything like you have to say with kindness and stuff, like there's another person at the other end of it. But anyways, that's kind of like was my thought process with it. After I did that, though, I realized like I do want to put myself out there, though. Like I don't just want to, you know, never go on dates and be like closed off because I think there are great people out there and I want to just start saying like yes to more things and like seeing where things go and then again like if things don't work out after the first date second date like just tell them like it's not that big of a deal once you have that mindset you're gonna start attracting more people because it's a lot about the energy that you put out and I'm putting out energy that like I am open but I'm also not putting out like any desperate energy either because I'm not desperate. Very much in like a comfortable spot where I'm totally fine being single. Totally fine being single and I don't necessarily need anyone. So, but I'm open to it. So that being said, I was on a walk the other day and I was just doing my normal walk. And this one guy came and stopped me and was like, hey, like whatever. Just was like, I just wanted to say, I think you're really beautiful. And then was like asking me questions about myself and not in like a creepy way. I think every single girl watching this will be able to say like if it's, you know, like you can tell when a guy is genuinely being creepy or not. He was younger and guys, I'm going to have a confession. I know there's a lot of girls out there that are like, oh my god, I want to date an older man like in his late 30s, 40s, more established, more mature. My theory is that older guys are not more mature because I'm like, if you are like 40, and you're still dating girls in their 20s, like there's something wrong with you. That's my theory. Please don't come for me in the comments if you're dating an older man and that's not the case. I know it's not the case for everyone, but I just think that like, I feel so young that when I even see a guy that's like 35, and granted I'm 28 for reference, 33, 34, 35, I'm like, oh my God, that is so old. Like I'm like, ew. And then I'm like, holy crap, I'm literally 28. Like, there, I should be attracted to guys in their 30s. And so you know who I'm attracted to? 24 and 25-year-olds. You guys, that's not okay. 
but I'm gonna be honest I am and you know what justice for women that are attracted to guys that are like slightly younger than them um I could never ever go younger than 24 um and I ideally would say I wouldn't go out with anyone younger than 25 so like on my dating apps and stuff 25 is the youngest but if I meet someone in person that's younger and like I don't know I can sense that they're someone I would get along with I will say yes 24 is the youngest though I would not go younger than that like ugh, and would they have to be like super mature so yeah is that like something wrong with me like I don't know I like guys I mean ideally I would like to date a guy that is specific like my exact age like 27 28 29 you know but like why like the guys that i've met out in person that i'm like oh my god they're so cool 25 years old i'm like what so anyways this guy that asked me out was younger but you know i said i was gonna start saying yes to things and i think this is being put in front of me because i specifically said i wanted to say yes to more and i want to be more open and i want to like put out that like inviting energy i guess um to normal men and so i said yes so we're gonna go and we're gonna grab a coffee tomorrow morning it's gonna feel like a networking meeting it's literally at 10 a.m that's like when i usually meet like investors and founders for coffee so that's what i'm gonna treat it as um and i'll see like obviously i'll catch the vibe if there's like flirtation and stuff there but if not you know just a good connection to have so anyways, I'm like almost done with my makeup and I wanted to talk about so much more than dating, but I guess this is just a dating get ready with me. I love this new mascara that I got. It's from YSL. I have to clean up my eye, but I don't know which one it is. It's um, Lash Clash. I got eyelash extensions and they like ruined my eyelashes. So now they're finally growing back. And this is like the one mascara that I really like. Also, I was talking to my friend about this, who she's in a very similar position to me, where she's very, very career driven. She just turned 28. She just got out of a relationship. It's hard to date guys at this stage in life because I feel like sometimes I'm an intense person. Like I just like am very assertive. I'm so sorry for the noise. I don't know what's going on upstairs. But I'm just a very, I think, assertive and blunt and like take initiative type of person. I don't want to necessarily be like the alpha in the relationship like I want my boyfriend and my future husband to be able to lead me and like to be able to take initiative and to be able to like be you know me to be able to sit back and like have confidence that they are gonna you know take initiative and like lead me I guess in other words I feel like in a lot of relationships or in a lot of people that I've met I can sense that like I would be like the leader <laughs> I hate that word I hate the word alpha it's one of my least favorite words because freaking Andrew Tate has made it like the worst word ever I don't want to do that in a relationship and it's hard because I'm naturally like that and so I need to date someone that's gonna like kind of put me in my place in a good way um, where I can sit back and not have to like worry about things or like not have to be the one that's like doing everything or like making all the decisions and that's just hard to find and also just because of who I am like I need someone like I'm here already and I need someone over here and then and when I say that I do not mean that they need to make a lot of money or anything like that I want to be very clear on that but I also really respect and want someone that has is career driven as well because I don't want to be the only one in the relationship that is. Ideally, I would like to date another entrepreneur or someone that eventually wants to be an entrepreneur because I just think that we would just be more compatible. We would like understand each other. And same visions and same goals and be able to kind of like help each other reach both of those. Does that make sense? So they don't have to be an entrepreneur now, but like I would like someone that wants to take initiative and do their own thing in the future. All right, my face now with this mist to set it. And so dating at this age is hard because there's a lot of guys sitting back like totally fine not taking initiative and stuff and that's not necessarily what i want but then the guys maybe that are like that can like i just like haven't found any that i'm like compatible with or like attracted to but i told myself i would start saying yes more and put myself out there and that is what i'm going to do okay so this is the final look this ended up being just a dating get ready with me chit chat vlog um which i hope that you guys liked it and i hope that 
I could kind of be like your friend that you were also doing your makeup with like comment below where you're watching this and I want to also know like I want to know your thoughts on any part of this so like type away comments you can add multiple comments like as it's going on like I want this to be a discussion so anyways this is the final look it's really simple again my skin's been super clear so I haven't felt the need to wear any makeup really but this is it and I really like it I'm not gonna do anything to my hair today and I'm gonna head over to the office thanks guys for watching and thank you Taylor Brands for sponsoring today's video bye guys